hello friends now we will see the operation of bjt as an amplifier again this topic is important for gate and engineering services both exams uh, and of course uh, we need to see how the device is going to act as an amplifier so this topic is important from understanding point of view as well now just for understanding the operation i will be taking pnp transistor reason being when i talk about flow of holes in bjt pnp bjt and that is nothing but the direction of current as well why because current flows in the direction of holes so in the direction in which holes will be moving that will be the direction of current as well so that is why i'm taking pnp transistor just for better understanding and better explanation there is no other reason otherwise you can take you can discuss npn transistor as well now when you talk about amplifier amplification of what amplification of current bjt is basically a current controlled device <coughs> fine so uh, let us see how it is going to when in normal mode of operation as an amplifier you should remember when bjt is operated as an amplifier the emitter junction that is emitter junction is forward biased and collector junction is reverse biased let us see how it is going to happen so if if you connect this and he, this here i forward bias by this fine and if you talk about this this is reverse biased with voltage vcb that is how it happens fine so collector junction is reverse biased by this voltage and emitter junction is forward biased by this voltage that is just for your understanding nothing else fine so when collector junction is forward biased the holes from emitter i'm sorry when emitter junction is forward biased the holes from emitter side this is emitter side will be injected into the base region so i will show the holes from holes into the base region these are nothing but holes fine so when holes are injected the width of the base is very narrow less than remember this is width of the base and i told width of the base region is kept much much smaller than the diffusion length diffusion length of what diffusion length of minority carriers in base when you talk about pnp transistor what are the minority carriers in base it is n type so holes are the minority carriers so the diffusion length of base is kept much much smaller than the diffusion length of holes so diffusion length of holes fine so left holes from p side are injected into the base region when the width this width is narrow very small just for uh, uh, making you understand i have widened otherwise this is very small so when holes are injected these will be moving towards collector and most of the to the collector site i repeat only few will be recombining in the base region i repeat if you have hundred holes here so maybe 99 may be passed over to the collector and one may be going this way one going this way means that will be recombining that hole will be recombined with the electron in the base region that's what you have so this is when holes are moving so there will be one component of current of emitter this constitute the component of emitter that is because of holes fine and this constitute the co collector current because of what holes here and that is majority carriers fine that's what you have what is this this will be constituting base current and that is because of the recombination so i will say this is ipe minus ipc that's what you have 
right now emitter region has two comp two types of carriers holes and electrons your base as your emitter junction so holes from emitter of side are injected into the base side but there is one more side electron from base side will be definitely injected to emitter side why because this junction is forward biased when a junction is forward biased electrons from n side are injected into p side and holes from p side are injected into n side fine so what i mean to say is there will be electrons flowing from although these will be small why because your base junction is lightly doped as compared to emitter emitter has highest doping level this is p plus plus this is n plus this is p so the number of electrons coming from base will be smaller and this after coming to this side will be constituting one component of current that is i n e current is because of two components only electrons and holes so i can summarize the emitted current i e is because of the component hole component plus your electron component that's it so your emitted current is having two components i hope the concept is clear now let us talk about this base current here one component will be this because of the recombination of the minority holes in the base region second component of current is because of the flow of electrons from base to emitter region right and there is one more part here this junction collector to base junction the collector to base junction is reverse biased and what is the component of current in reverse biased pn junction that current is the only one current that is reverse saturation current and reverse saturation current flows from which side to which side from n side to p side so there will be one more component of current which will be flowing from n side to p side and that is ic not although th that will be because of electrons and holes jumping of holes from n side to p side jumping of electrons from p side to n side but i am showing one otherwise if you talk about this component here it will be i n c not plus i n i p c not but we won't be entering into that much detail fine i hope the concept is clear so let us see the base current now the base current has three components what one component is nothing but this component that is base current because of these electrons which are shifted towards emitter site second component is because of this co combination i'll say ip minus ipc so ipe minus ipc that is recombination this current is called recombination component of current and third current is ic not that is reverse saturation current between base and collector sometimes it is denoted by icb not but i'll say ic not so base current i have defined emitter current i have defined let us see the last current that is ic the ic current that is collector current is nothing but it has got two components the component of current due to holes component of current due to reverse saturation current i'll say this is ipc1 everywhere i'll be representing ipc1 so this is ipc1 so ipc1 that is first component that is collector current plus ic not so these are the two components of the collector current i'll be talking about these components again when we are going to study the components of current in bjt but for the time being just remember these are the internal components of current in bjt still we have not discussed how it is going to behave as an amplifier before we directly switch over to the 
that uh, 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 BJT as an amplifier, I'll be talking about few terms. First, I'll be talking about important definitions, important terms of BJT as an amplifier. Fine, important terms. What are those terms? First is base transport factor base transport factor the base transport factor is nothing but that is b is defined as the ratio of collector current total collector current ipe ratio that is base transport factor is nothing but ratio of the total collector current to the ammeter current because of holes only this is your base transport factor fine so what i find ic is equal to capital b i p e that is your relationship i hope you'll remember that this is base transport factor fine that is one term this is first term I hope you'll, you will remember that second term is known as ammeter injection efficiency that is second term I will be talking about it is denoted by gamma ammeter injection efficiency fine the ammeter injection efficiency gamma is nothing but ratio of the component of current which is reaching at ammeter that is ipe by total ammeter current that is called ammeter injection efficiency and this is ipe by ipe plus ine this component of current which is being injected towards base at a total ammeter current that is called ammeter injection efficiency so i have discussed two terms base transport factor base transport factor is nothing but this current by the total collector current that is your base transport factor uh, rather i'll say total collector current by this that is base transport factor fine second is ammeter injection efficiency that is how we define fine so third term is another important term let us talk about the third term third term of bjt as an amplifier and that basically gives you the complete operation of bjt as an amplifier and that is nothing but common ammeter current gain third definition that is not uh, third but rather uh, yes it is third definition current transfer ratio that is known as current transfer ratio and sometimes we define this as common base current gain common base current gain remember it is denoted by alpha the common base current gain is nothing but ratio of the collector current to the ammeter current i'll say that like this ratio of collector current to the ammeter current is called common base current gain fine this is what you have this is how we define fine the next if you talk about this if you uh, uh, define it further this is equal to what this is beta uh, sorry b that was base transport factor into i p e divided by i e fine clear and we will see further we will see the relationship further we know what is ip by 
what is ip by ie ip by ie is ammeter injection efficiency so this is nothing but b into gamma why because this is gamma ammeter injection efficiency we have just defined so the common base current gain alpha is equal to the base transport factor into the ammeter injection efficiency that is another important relation you should remember there can be numericals from these small small numericals in maybe in gate one mark question or maybe in engineering services prelims fine then next term so what i find here is the total collector current to this please see this total collector current is what sum of this plus this but this will be definitely less than this term or this term so uh, al uh, normally alpha is less than unity that is what you need to remember the common base current gain alpha is always less than unity this is another important point you should remember then we have common ammeter current gain let us see what is the common ammeter current gain the common ammeter current gain it is denoted by beta that is nothing but the collector current by the base current that is how we define the ratio of collector current to the base current is defined as the common ammeter current gain and we know what is the collector current we have just seen that is b into i p e that is what we had base current was what base current was having multiple relationship that is i c naught that is one component uh, base current was having uh, uh, rather uh, three parts that is um, i p e i and e not p e that is i and e that is this component of current plus this component of current plus this component of current reverse saturation current so plus i p e minus i p c into plus i c not i c not is neglected because it is in nano ampere so i will be neglecting that component fine for just for the timing here and remember ipc is nothing but b into ipe is it's, it's basically it is ic but since i am neglecting uh, the uh, collector this component of current so i will say ipc is approximately equal to b that is base transport factor into ipe fine so i'll be taking beta equal to b ipe by i and e plus 1 minus b into i uh, p e that's what you have right so this is the relationship between these two now you can see it further I will rewrite it like beta equal to B then IPE divided by IE I and E plus IPE and minus B into IPE it's B it's capital B it's beta it's beta you should remember this fine now what i'll do i'll take this as common b i p e divided by i n e plus i p e divided by 1 minus b i p e divided by i n e plus i p e and what is this this is nothing but ammeter injection efficiency so this give b into gamma by 1 minus b into gamma this is b 
and b into gamma is what beta is what that is alpha by 1 minus alpha so you should remember this this is important as far as exam is concerned you should remember this this is important as far as exam is concerned there can be question on this fine so this is how now let us see alpha was less than unity say let alpha is 0.99 if alpha is 0.99 what will be beta 0.99 by 1 minus 0.99 this is what 99 it means if this ratio of collector current to emitter current is 0 0.99 the ratio between collector current to base current is 99 it means when base current is reaching at collector it is increasing by 99 times so that is how base current is amplified when it reaches at the collector and that is how your when it is simple relationship between collector and emitter it is not amplifier basically current is reducing but when base is reaching at the uh, collector base current is reaching, reaching at the collector it is increasing by 99 times so that is how i can say the current is increased amplified and that is how your bjt behaves like an amplifier so this is all about your operation of bjt as an amplifier after this this topic we will see the different types of uh, modes of operation of bjt that is uh, another uh, topic which you should understand that is modes of operation BJT can be operated in different modes of operation. We will see those modes one by one. For the timing, just wait for my next video. Thank you for watching.